one of my favorite new things on Shell. And so, one more upload with the updates. There are lots! Level up. First off, this is a pull request that I've merged on Master. Unfortunately I didn't find Florian online to ask him a couple of things, but for now just pay attention how it asks for a restart to apply an update. <sighs> if you missed my previous video, this application basically replaces extensions preferences tool, and it gets a desktop file too, so we can directly open it from shell overview. Actually, this app is on shell source code. <laughs> so in a sense, it is the most core GNOME app ever possible, and it will be available to any GNOME installation. So, let's go to the actual demo, and start it from overview. Oh, and that's the official app icon, full blue. A second please to scale it, for your best watching experience. So, on top we have a global switch for enabling or disabling all of our extensions, and we also have the typical menu that only includes the about dialog. The installed extensions are separated to manually installed, that are the ones under our home folder, and built in, that are those we get from RPMs, devs etc. For each extension we have a switch to enable or disable it, and by the way let me set the dark theme instead. We also have an expander, and we can see the extension description and version. Moreover we get a link to extension web page and a button to remove it. With the call button we can access extensions preferences, and I like it is outside the details, so we can fast open that. Now, when there is an extension update we get this orange indicator. Shell checkouts periodically for updates, and it is a worth to mention the whole update system has been rewritten to hunt down and skin alive some known issues. Remember on the original pull request the image that was requiring a restart to apply the update? That's gone now and we only need to relog, at least if we use Wayland. On Xorg we can simply restart Shell from Looking Glass to apply the update. But I'm not sure what happens with built-in extensions. That was the part I wanted to ask Florian about, but to my understanding those will be handled from GNOME software. Speaking of which, you see that message on the top that forwards us to Ego for getting new extensions? And by the way this link graphics may change. But anyway, the important change here is that GNOME software will drop extensions page, which was super bad anyway. Um, right. There are some updates here too I never covered. Like the categories that move to the bottom, but all those on some other video maybe. So, on add-ons and shell extensions. Well, that is the part that is going to be dropped, however GNOME software will still be able to update and install extensions from distro repos. But as a rule, you should always get extensions from Ego site, and in general install extensions under your home folder only. As always, this is work in progress, and things might change or I may said something wrong. In any case, super happy for the changes because GNOME finally makes extensions first class, and address is one of the worst community issues.